Brandon in Georgia, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, Alex. Thanks for taking my call. Thanks for calling, brother. Hey, no problem. Actually, I was going to talk about eugenics, but um, I had another point, too, since you started talking about people getting arrested so easily. Uh, I live and have a job that's right in the heart of the city, and I don't know if this is a, a pattern around with other major cities or not, But um, and I won't mention any names, but we've got um, we've got a judge here in town who profits off of these low-level dealers and has a, a male prostitution ring. This is not speculation. This is not inference. This is fact. And uh, so a lot of the beat cops have kind of evolved to where when they bust somebody, they, they always say, look, we've got to find a felony here. Because if we don't, these guys are going to get right back out and start making a profit for this judge. Do you, have you noticed a pattern like this where, where some of the higher-ups are making a profit off of, uh, off of crime like this in some of the bigger cities? Well, here's the deal. You've either got cities that have resisted criminal takeover and or have kicked criminal governments out before, and I'd say that's maybe a third of the cities and towns, a rough estimation, depends on the region, that aren't mafia-run. And those are generally nice places where everybody wants to move and they're prosperous. But you'll also have areas where the criminals have taken over, where it's already such a big town or city that they just feed on everybody. But then they usually go so far, they get caught because, you know, their son gets caught with a kilo of cocaine and kills somebody and then it all comes out. And so that police chief or, the, or that mayor steps down so that it kind of goes away, but the dealing starts. I mean, where I live in Texas, about half the sheriffs in the counties on average, about half the counties have had sheriffs arrested, running drugs, running prostitutes. Um, uh, they're also caught running pedophile rings all the time, but that doesn't mean that all the sheriffs are pedophiles. You'll have a sheriff right next door that's so simple-minded and, and, and gullible that they don't even know what's happening. But yes, normally it's the police that run the hooker operations in big cities. L.A., New York, uh, you know, big cities, the police as middlemen for the big banks. The big banks ship the drugs in, all of it. And then the law of the money and then any drugs that are shipped in that they don't control, they send the police at to go shut down their competition. And of course, the beat cops are out just writing tickets and raising money or responding to burglar alarms. But it's the special narcotics units and, you know, it's always the prostitution unit that it turns out is running the whores. Because they want to also, you know, take a bite out of the prostitutes, like a bite out of crime. They, they want to they wanna dabble in, in that and... Uh, you know, and all the runaways and 16-year-olds coming off the coming off the buses and all of it, and you know, these a lot of these a lot of these uh, narcotics detectives, you know, they got a busy day having sex five six times and snorting cocaine themselves and injecting heroin and beating people up, and I mean, you see them, they're just hardcore criminals, and they run America, and uh, that's that's how it is, and uh, you know, they've got your daughter right now, you know, in a, in a, in a hotel. And the, and the hotel gives them free hotel rooms, too, because if they don't, they'll, they'll take the hotel for drug dealing. And I mean, that's how this works. And so, yeah, I suggest you can probably get killed doing it, but if you want to fight them, go in with a wire, go into bars, get people talking about it, talk to the hookers, uh, do your own citizen sting. I'm not recommending you do this. You can get killed doing this, but this is the kind of thing I would do. You would go, get the hooker in there, don't have sex with her, get it all recorded who she works for. Don't do it. Just put it directly up to YouTube. Just directly up with a report, who did it, who they are, it'll destroy them. By the time it gets copied and put everywhere, it's over. You just burn them down that way. I call it burning them down. And uh, Or you can go to their office and say, hey, I've got all the interviews with the hookers and the stuff you're running. What are you going to do about that? Uh, what are you going to do about that? Uh, and then they'll offer to buy you off or threaten you. You'll go, oh, I already have it all ready uh, in another city ready to be uploaded. Then they'll start trying to offer to buy you out. The FBI is not going to help you generally. They're on the take. So all you can do is publicly burn them down and say, all right, well, we'll you know, they'll offer you a bribe. You say, all right, we'll talk about it. They may, they may still flip out and have the cops kill you as you drive away from the police station or the city council building, the, you know, the mayor's office. So you better have people with you. I'm telling you, it's dangerous. I mean, they may just still kill you anyways, and who cares if it gets uploaded? Uh, and then you just upload the fact that they're running the, the whores locally. Uh, and it, it'll usually be underage ones, too, because things are so corrupt now. Most of these people don't want a 25-year-old prostitute. They want a 15-year-old one. Uh, and so, uh, you, you, I mean, that's why you can walk into Acorn offices and those famous videos, office after office going, here's my underage hooker, I'm going to bring in little kids. They're like, well, let us, let us sign you up. Oh, yeah, we love that. 
I mean, that's just America. That's what America is. You got one half is pure evil, and the other half doesn't know what side of the planet they're on and doesn't know they're, you know, head from a hole in the ground. And that's an overgeneralization. When I say one half of either the awake, you know, of the group doing nothing, half of them are evil and know what's going on, and the other half don't are so stupid and so naive, they, they don't care. And then you've probably got 35, 40% of the population that's awake. So you got like 70% that's either totally dumb or in on the evil, and 30% or so that are good and awake, but either aren't taking action because they feel powerless or are caught up in infighting and cognitive infiltration. Uh, so, I mean, does that answer your question, sir? It does. Uh, I hear the music. Do I have time to ask a quick sure, question? Sure, sure, sure. We'll come back to you. And then we'll now you can watch the Alex Jones Show live as it happens at Infowars.com slash show. You'll find links to all of our content there and a free 15-day trial for Prison Planet TV. More than 60 movies and documentaries all in one place at Infowars.com slash show. So see, that's also the PSYOP. The globalists create the war. They then create the opposition to the war as the new political class who they actually put in who become even bigger warmongers and who then wage war against America itself. And so what's happening is the people at the Pentagon now really are coming to face to face that they're the bad guys. I saw a, a skit, uh, I forget what it was on, it was one of the comedy shows on TV, but I saw the clip on YouTube, and it shows German soldiers on the Eastern Front, and they're going, you know, we're wearing black uniforms and skulls on our hats, that's what the bad guys wear. You know, I would think like guys in black wearing skulls, that's like the bad guys. And that guy goes, you know, you, you're actually right, that is kind of how the bad guys dress. I mean, now look at even how the New World Order acts. They are the bad guy. The country's a homeland. Homeland is there to absorb the old republic. Homeland is a fascist or communist term. It, it, it's just they're even going with the archetypal script to try to condition us to just accept anything they want to do. The military people aren't bad. On average, they're some of the most awake folks. It's the people running it. I know I beat that horse to death, folks. Let's go to um, the fellow I was talking to. Was that Brandon in Georgia? Yeah, uh, Brandon, look, I don't know about your town. I don't know about what your mayors and people are up to. I don't know their names. I don't want to hear them. I don't want to have unsubstantiated stuff on air. I just know this. Uh, I would say more than half the cities and, and, and cities and, 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 and counties and, and county seats are criminal operations. I mean, you'll have a lot of people working compartmentalized who aren't aware of it, uh, but, but, but generally, yes. Uh, and, there, and there's another reason they've had the Pentagon come in and federalize local departments and things, because that's so the government can control that centrally as well. And that's why our government seems so mafioso is because it is run by big banks that are the ultimate mafia. And so this is government by corporate mafias that are above the law. Uh, what was your last question? Uh, it was concerning eugenics. And, uh, and maybe you can enlighten me. Maybe there's a better word for what I'm about to talk about. But um, I'll preface it with I'm totally against abortion. Uh, I think it's a moot point as far as whether or not consciousness is there. The fact that we don't know. Should suspend all abortions. Well, now they're anyway. saying kill babies up to age three. I hear this. It's insane that now they're, they're saying, saying old people don't have uh, a, a good life, even if they're conscious and awake, and the bioethics board decides to kill you because they decide your life's not worth living. That's all they're doing. Automatons like the ones on the video on your site that are just signing anything without even knowing what's on there. And hearing the word fourth trimester, they'll sign it anyway. Yeah, which means killing a three month old baby, yeah. Exactly, exactly. But as far as eugenics goes, um, you know, when I see things, and I see people that have been convicted over and over for child abuse, pedophilia, these types of things, I mean, do you not think why not? Why not sterilize them? Exactly. Why yeah, not? But, but see, that's the road to hell's paved with good intentions, because the minute you start doing that, you should just execute them rather than do that. Because let me tell you, it's going to start being used against everybody. They don't want some kid in a in a crib that's five and weighs 25 pounds with maggots all over them. They want your healthy, happy kid that's living great to hand it off to a rich family because they want to do satanic rituals with it. Let me tell you, a lot of your CPS are outright devil worshipers. Okay, I've dealt with them. They worship Satan. They want to rape your kid. Okay, period. I mean, just, just face it. We'll be right back.
They don't want to see us unite. They want to see us all in fight with each other. That's the mark of a Fed right there, folks. That's the mark of a globalist right there. I say unite around liberty and freedom and justice and not fight with each other. Let's go to Chris in Kentucky, then Julio and others. I'm going to do some overdrive. Uh, Chris, you're on the air worldwide. Go ahead, sir. Yes, thanks, Alex. It's been a while, but um, I tell you, we got some news with the gun issue. You've been calling me like 15, 16 years. I haven't heard from you in years. Yeah, it's been a long time. I've been a bit busy slaving, too, and trying to get through. Been That's right. You used to run a TV station or something, right? No, I didn't run a TV station. I had somebody that had a radio show here that was kicked off, of course, that was some time oh, ago. So I thought, but you were working with somebody on a TV station, like, but it doesn't matter. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, the Fed, uh, this, the homicide problem here in the loyalty, the, the solution is now let's get the uh, agent, the federal agents in the military helping with the police, and they're making it sound so sweet on the news. You know, it, it's not going to... Oh, people... I know, no, no. They collapse society, ship the drugs in, and now in Louisville, Kentucky, Chicago, Illinois, Dallas, Texas, let's put troops on the streets, who was then aimed at the people. No, we're going into martial law, and, and Chris, you've been listening 15 years. Did I not say it would be done like this incrementally? You predicted it right, and here it is. It's right in front of Of course, it wasn't nation. hard. I went to the drills, and they admitted it. How did you know, Jones? Oh, they said exactly. I mean, it's like, how do, how do they know? Well, they said one, two, three, and they did one, two, three. Uh, man, yeah. I, I tell you, well, military better leave me alone. It's getting the point where I'm running into it, and they're, they're usually nice guys, too, but they're there to acclimate, and I'm like, you should not be here with the police. Go ahead. Yeah, you're absolutely right, and I tell you, I want to thank you for having an uh, interview with Sheriff Denny Payman from Jackson County in this state. I, that's He's a I great guy. Yeah, that's the answer to tyranny is that. That man is 1776. That's exactly what we need is every sheriff in, the, in this country we need, because if we don't, you know, it's over. Well, let's get on it. Get aboard what I love about sheriff. patriot sheriffs and police chiefs is they're good men and women. They're well-spoken. They care. They have a lot of liberty in their eyes. And then you see these sacks of scrofulous garbage that are there with uh, Holder at these anti-gun things with Feinstein, and they look like clowns in the little police outfits and all. I mean, they're a joke. I will not be ruled by a bunch of criminals. God bless you, sir. Good to hear from that guy. Yeah, guys, pull that up. I actually saw that a week ago and never covered it. Uh, call for military on streets of Louisville. By the way, I show off around here that I'm able to say it. Louisville. Louisville. Not Louisville. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back. Here's some of the headlines up on Infowars.com breaking. Activist group demands UN stop Chicago from closing public schools. Uh, we told you that was coming with Obama. That was his plan to where it's all corporate-run schools that are even worse than the uh, government schools. Robbery of Cyprus bank accounts doubles in size. You, know, you hear about a ho robbery of a hotel room jewels uh, in France, but what about a 47.5% robbery of Cyprus bank accounts doubles in size? Uh, globalist uh, agiprop Hillary Clinton, the miniseries, well, I'll tell you, Kurtz, Kurt's uh, write a lot of articles. I don't know if the average person knows what an uh, agiprop is. I barely do. I have to remember what it is in Soviet nomenclature. And Rand Paul strikes back against anti-freedom enemies. Government promises to stop lying because of Drudge Report. Spotlight, MSNBC host, says newborn infants don't count as alive. Joining the chorus, Pentagon says they have lost control to independent media led by Drudge. 80% of U.S. adults are near poverty, rely on welfare, or unemployed. Yep, that's why they're winning. We're winning the waking up people that can be woken up, but the globalists are just gutting the country so fast it makes my head spin. Uh, let's go to Julio real fast. Uh, you're on the air. What's your take, Julio, on the Pentagon press conference? You know, I watched that entire press conference last night, and it was just so interesting to see George Little, the way he would uh, fake laugh from time to time. To see he sounded like literally. Thurston the Howl. Oh, Buffy, it's your turn now. <laughs> it, it was just so fascinating watching that uh, that uh, one Gilligan. woman who... Uh, uh, that uh, one woman who spoke, uh, Hostler, I butchered her last name, but uh, when she talked about propaganda and spin and how quickly little uh, George Little tried to steer away from that, oh, I, I, I don't want to refer to it as spin, but uh, yes, we do have to tell the truth. And, and he mentioned about smartphones and, 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 and 
technology really driving independent media, alternative media. He's basically admitting that uh, the listening audience, myself, anyone, is a journalist, has the ability right now to get any piece of information at real-time speed. To well, yeah, that's what news. freaks him out, as he said. Look, we can't lie when their smartphone will show a photo of it. So really, they're just shifting game plan and, 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 and saying, we're going to be good guys now for the demoralized psychorps that don't like being deceptive and, and or being deceptive against good people. But that's the lie. You become deceptive against bad, you don't become... You know, good, you become bad. And it, it's a very sophisticated thing. But the whole point is they are running the white flag up and saying, we're rolling out cybersecurity against the web. We're going to infiltrate the local media. We're going to buy people off. That's not going to work either because globalism is going to shut everything down. No matter how much BS they shovel, reality will come to the fore. And as long as we point out we have state-run media, the globalists are criminal, the government's illegitimate, it's over for the New World Order. Do you agree with that term, state-run media? Oh absolutely. oh, absolutely. I call it corporate media since they're all run by multinational corporations. They work for the mega corporations of the world. Really, yeah, the but, it's, but, 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 but they're using the state with our taxpayer money and stuff to direct it. In my experience, when I covered NATO last summer, I saw state-run media. I saw... Being inside the NATO summit, we were going to get actual documents, real information of what's going on. Instead, we got PR uh, emails of what they agreed on, and every news organization from around the world repeated it. the exact same thing. No, no, no. Was, That's why the Pentagon and the White House have said, let's just go to straight up, not even press conferences, we'll put a statement out. But then the better psyops folks go, oh, no, they'll pick that apart. Let's go engage them. But they'll just buy off one blogger and then another blogger will start up. Look, it's over. It's over. The only question is we have to go through what the Germans did or the Russians did before we wake up to it. Please, let's learn from history, folks. Because there's a war on for your mind. That has been our motto here at InfoWars for my 18 years of battle against the globalist. And now we see the open announcements of global, private, corporate tyranny over our governments. That's what the New World Order is. It's an unaccountable private combine of organized crime engaged in corporate takeovers of nation states. And the conscious attempt to abolish basic rights and fundamental liberties. Infowars.com is not just leading the charge against this here in the U.S. or North America. We are leading the charge worldwide. And that's because our listeners, our viewers, our supporters, fellow freedom lovers like you across the planet resonate with our message of liberty and telling it like it is. And that's why for the last two years especially, I have thrown everything I've got, my time, my energy, our backup capital, everything into really trying to awaken the sleeping giant that is humanity. And that's why the July issue that just came in a few days ago is so important. We've already sold about half the stock we have of it at cost in groups of 10 up to 100 in bulk. It covers the entire NSA spy grid, how it ties in worldwide, how it's not about stopping terrorists, but about suppressing and dominating and controlling the free press and political opposition. And in this magazine, we don't just have three free bumper stickers like I did a few months ago. We have 10 bumper stickers, four full-size ones with amazing messages guaranteed to get people thinking like America has been occupied by globalist forces, Infowars.com. Listen to Alex Jones at Infowars.com. Infowars.com, forbidden information. Listen to Alex Jones, Infowars.com. And then on top of it, six medium-sized bumper stickers with the message as well. These are key to post in legal and lawful areas on your book bag, your computer, your car, or to give friends and family. I have printed 500,000 of these bumper stickers. Only half of this month's run of magazines has them. So when you purchase them in bulk or you're a 12-month subscriber, you will get the special issue. And I can't afford to do this every month, so it's going to be quite a while 
until we do this again. Please take advantage of this. Buy them in bulk and give them to your friends and family and encourage them to get these bumper stickers out because with 500,000 stickers, we can reach tens of millions of people with the message of truth. They want to collectivize us. They want to bankrupt us. They want to drive us into their arms to control us. They want to dumb us down. But the sleeping giant that is for humanity is awakening. So I want to thank you all for your support. I want to encourage everybody to go to InfoWarsStore.com and to get a 12-month subscription or to give a gift subscription. Imagine 12 of these coming to your friends or family's door to wake them up. Or to give a gift subscription to the local police department or your local congressman or woman. This is how we're going to affect change, voting with our dollars and voting with our time. Again, visit InfoWarsStore.com today to subscribe, to get the magazine in bulk, or to give a gift subscription, or to give yourself a subscription to wake up friends and family. I am all in. I am committed 110% to not mince words and to not back off and to boldly confront the globalist. And our listeners and supporters, our info warriors, who aren't behind us, they're right beside us. So I want to thank all of you that have supported us in the past, and I want to encourage all of you out there who may be on the fence, that know this information is true, but have been scared to take action. You had better be scared of not taking action and letting this monstrous system come to fruition. Now is the time to commit. Now is the time to say which side of history you're on. Now is the time to stand against the globalist and the New World Order. And regardless of whether you get this July issue, this July 4th resistance to tyrants issue, spread the word about liberty, resist corruption in your area. Millions of us doing little things can move mountains together. I'm Alex Jones signing off for InfoWars.com and the InfoWars team. There's more videos and foreign news articles where the Al-Qaeda forces uh, that our loving government, our illegitimate criminal banker-run government, uh, have uh, put in charge in the Middle East, murdering Christians en masse, chopping their heads off, throwing them off buildings, shooting men, women, and children, torturing children. I mean, you can go look at it. It's all up there. It's a daily stream. We're going to get Syrian Girl, who predicted it all over a year ago on this show, on with us to go over it all in the next few days. We're going to get G. Edward Griffin on the broadcast as well, a lot of other um, very informative guests. I promise to go to your phone calls. Let's, let's continue with your phone calls. I want to play a clip I didn't get to earlier uh, of Greenwald uh, saying, look, they lied to us. The NSA, their lowliest employees can dial right in and listen to you in live time. Folks, that's been done since World War II that without warrants, they would have operators punch in and listen to people. But, but now they've just got it where they can dial in, just like you can have an app to follow your husband or wife with their cell phone. That app doubles for you to be able to use it. That's the, the system by law, globally, engineered into all the phones of international conferences so the governments can track you. Of course, they're now announcing, Alex, it's true, there's face scanning cameras on the street corners. There's... Alex, it's true. They're following everybody. Stores are using your purchase history to rip you off and charge you more. That's why they have digital price tags now. And uh, the, they uh, are aware of, uh, the, they're using this intel. And the smart meters are controlling your thermostat and charging you. Yeah, they all said they were going to do this. I keep trying to explain that to people. I don't just get up here and say, you know, 15 years ago, they're going to have smart meters and track everything you do and control your thermostat. And I was reading from MIT. And I'm telling you, everything I've seen these people say they're going to do, they're going to do it. They write books about all the stuff they put in the water to hurt us. I mean, these are murderers. And quite frankly, legally and lawfully under common law, we could all get violent with these people right now. But that would play into their plan. I want to awaken humanity and try to have as least bloodshed as possible. When we start cornering these people, they're going to get violent and blame us for it already. We want to be able to expose they did that violence and show how bad they are instead of go out and have them frame our violence uh, as, as oh, see, proof we're bad. And they're they know they're going to force people into confrontation. And for those of you that want confrontation, you're, you're going to probably get it. This probably isn't going to get fixed without a lot of bloodshed at one point. The question is, is it a few thousand dead and then they stand down and get arrested? Or is it going to be 100 million dead in the U.S.? 
communist, and that's basically who these people are. They're technocrats above it, but it's a communist model. They, they in the 70s, it was declassified when they took over with re-education camps with the weathermen that they wanted to kill 50 million people. You can look up those video clips from people that were in the trials, uh, those film clips. Uh, I mean, that's the, the, look, look, people say, what do they want? They want to kill people. They want to be able to come to your house and torture you while they rape your wife. I mean, and you're like, why? Because that's what they like to do. They don't like working hard and being good and building things and being wholesome and having good friends. They like hurting people. I mean, have you not figured that out yet? Have you not studied history yet? And if we don't stand up against them, they're going to have their way. So all I can say is let's work as hard as we can in the sunshine as the sun sets on liberty because it's going to come back around, don't worry. The sun will rise again. Let's work to, to get as many people as aw uh, awake as possible so that when the sun really goes down, people wake up and know what to do. Because let me tell you, folks, if it goes to a full-bore civil war, it ain't going to stop. And it's going to be bad. And for all the people that serve the system, some of you macho guys that think you're going to have a war with the American people, you're going to show us, and you're fools. You have taken the restraint of the American patriot as weakness, and you have no idea. You have no idea how hard you're going to get hammered. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go to your phone calls. Let's talk to Aaron in Texas. You're on the air. Go ahead. Mr. Jones, it's a pleasure. Good to talk to you. Yes, sir. I'm calling a, earlier, the caller called you and accused you of being a PSYOP, and one of the things that you said was that you were in a fighting stance, and it reminded me of something that I say to people a lot. When I'm talking to people about politics and or the stuff that's discussed on your show, a lot of times they are irritated or they say things like, that gives me bad energy, and they basically don't want to hear it because it bothers them. When I was growing up, I grew up in the Taekwondo studio, and when I first started sparring, my first opponent was larger than me, and he was more aggressive than me, and he started punching me in the face, and I didn't like it, and so I looked away, and when he's still punching me. I looked away, and my instructor I heard him yell at me, don't look away, he's still hitting you, and I can't get that out of my head, um, and I learned that if there's a threat, I have to face it. If I look away, he's still hitting me. Well, that's right. I mean, they call it bad energy because they're kind of in a frog that's rolled over in the boiling pot and has decided to die. And yeah, it might hurt at first to climb out of the water before it kills you. But look, I'm up here three hours and 13 minutes into this show. I got up early this morning. I worked yesterday till late. I've dealt with incredible just BS off record in the last 48 hours. I was up here Saturday working, you know, seven, eight hours. I'm not complaining. I can't quit knowing what I know. I can't quit understanding what I understand. I learn more exponentially every week. And just like people said, oh my gosh, he got mad at Piers Morgan, it was discrediting. The founding fathers rode around saying, get guns and kill people, because they were coming to take our guns. I'm not saying that, we're like, oh, they're heroes. I'm telling a red coat usurper liar, hey, you know this is about taking our guns, and stop acting like it didn't. You know, all the people pushing these bills want a gun ban while they're armed to the teeth. Watch it, buddy. You're going to cause a civil war, which is what the globalists plan. So watch it. And then, oh, you say 9-11 is an inside job. I'm like, I saw them on TV say they were going to blow up Building 7, and I watched them blow it up, and I got the video of it. Shut up, scumbag. I mean, stop telling me what I know is true, is not Stop gaslighting me. Stop lying to me. That's what the Pentagon said. They said it is not working to just lie to them outright. We got to infiltrate them. We got to take them over. Everybody was just sitting there sick in the meeting going, we don't like to propagandize foreigners. We know this country is run by evil. Now we're going to have to engage the American people. I could look at that audience and tell you most of them we've got. Most of them look sick. That's where you really learned what was happening in that Pentagon briefing. I just want to tell the New World Order, and they know this with the NSA stuff. You, you people are in a bad position. And I know you got all the high-tech weapons and the propaganda still, and you think you're going to control things because you control the resources and you've wrecked most of the public mentally to where they, they can't fight back. It doesn't matter. If 5% of us fight back against you politically, we're going to tear your arms and legs out of their sockets like that. All I need is the 5% of people, and it's more like 30 that are somewhat awake, but if 5%... Of the American people, ladies and gentlemen, just start resisting, speaking out, warning others. The buzz will be so big, it will resonate psychologically with people's own survival instinct that they have, and it's over.
Okay, people, listen, to all the people that serve the system, and you already know this, you already know now you're going to get screwed. You think you're going to play along with it? You're going to lose everything. The only way to beat this, and it doesn't mean you've got to go Rambo people or you've got to find the secret and overthrow it. You've got to just speak out mildly. You've got to just say no mildly. You've got to just... I'm not going to even get into it. i got such a headache. I'll never get to your calls if I don't. It, it, it's just... We're going to win this thing, folks, but we've all got to do a little something. That's what moves mountains, okay? Not everybody's going to do what I've done, but, not, but there will be people in this fight who will dwarf what Alex Jones has done. And I've always known at a spiritual level, my job is here to just send the message out, who will hear, who has ears to hear, eyes to see, we'll get it. And it's my job to energize the, the resistance. It's my job. It's my job's not to be your leader. My job's not to, my job is just transmit the truth, resist, 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 point out the enemy operations, and just get people to understand what's happening, and then God will do the rest, okay? And I, I think that's what you should do as well. All right, let's go ahead and talk to, uh, thank you, Aaron. John in Pennsylvania, you're on the air. Hello, Alex. Hey, buddy. Uh, thank you very much for this time, and I realize how valuable it is. First off, I'd like to say that I'm calling, uh, I'm a volunteer for the schoolie for Congress campaign. The next Ron Paul was running in Pennsylvania 9th against neocon uh, Billy Schuster who is head of the highway transportation. Oh, yeah, there are a lot of uh, libertarian constitutionalist uh, Ted Cruz types, uh, Rand Paul types that are coming up. I know some of them. I'm planning to have some of them on the air. And absolutely, and even if they don't win in every case, they will inject real issues in those debates. So running for office is a great way to inject truth into the propaganda spectrum. Like if for all the info warriors, I've been a long-time listener, I copy all your videos and hand them on grocery stores and markets. I just ran across this guy by accident. He was a 2008 coordinator for the Paul campaign for in the Pennsylvania 9th, and he ran as an alternate delegate last year uh, in, the, in the last presidential election. He was a Ron Paul delegate. And uh, what, what we really need is for all the InfoWars to go to schoolie for Congress. And I hate to beg for money on your show, Alex, but... And without out any money, we're going to have a hard time fight. This no, I understand, stuff. but listen to me for a minute, uh, and I appreciate your call. We're doing reports on this. The whole media structure is going after Rand Paul, Ted Cruz types, Democrats, Republicans, Karl Rove, Joe Biden, uh, Chris Christie, all of them, because they're real. I wasn't sure about Ted Cruz being real because I didn't know him for 15 years like I knew Rand Paul, but he's for real. Uh, Rand Paul's for real, and a lot of these people getting like a mosh is for real. And, and there's a lot of people that are for real, and that's why they're threatened by it. Because it's just, you'd call the libertarian Republicans mainline just Americans, Democrats and Republicans 50 years ago. Even 30 years ago. I mean, they just don't want to bankrupt the whole country. It's like Ross Perot said, and you move the jobs to India and China and Mexico, and the whole country collapses if all it cares about money. But I want my granddaughters to have a country to live in. Yeah, I mean, where do you think you're going to go all these other places? I mean, because you build an economy here, then you can build up the third world. You don't ship it there and lower their standard so you get to take over everything. I mean, it's just, it's, it's about scorched earth globalism. They're using economics as a weapon, folks. Obama's like, wants to get the middle class going. He gave a speech today and, you know, he cares about you. His job is to destroy the middle class and make you dependent on record. Let's talk to Tex in Texas. Uh, Tex, you're on the air. Go ahead. Okay, thank you, Alex. Um, long time listener. Um, you talked about uh, Stonehenge um, when we were over in England. Uh, and yeah, uh, I felt it. I went there because they wanted to go, and I'm like, oh, look at it. It's so boring. You know, it looks small from the highway, and I'm walking across this line, and it was like hit by electricity. I felt crazed. Happened to everybody. Went back over it, and then the and then the guy that was there, he said, "I don't even believe in this stuff, and I must not have the you know the cells in my brain because they've proven fish and other things you know can follow magnetic lines because everybody that has it when they cross that line they feel it." But go ahead and make your point. Okay, I uh, was told this by my dad. Over 70 years ago, so that'll give you a clue. I'm an old man. Um, if the Earth is a globe. It's not a flat pancake. But if you take a piece of white paper and lay it on the face of the globe using the, 
the one edge is a straight edge, and you put one edge of that paper in Boston and twist the paper around so that it goes through New York and then Philadelphia and then Baltimore. No, I got it. You can see what on the other side of the earth is, is where they're at. Yeah, I haven't done that. Guys, will you hand me that globe? I want to see what's on the other side of Stonehenge. Thanks. Go ahead, sir. And you uh, even extend it down to Washington, D.C., and you extend that line, it goes back to Stonehenge. They knew something. Now, what they knew, I don't know, but you can do it, and I don't try to prove it to you because it's... Oh, no, but you're absolutely point. right that, that that the ancients all believed there were certain points, and, and, and it's magnetics coming out of the earth there, and so the ancients would think it was magic uh, when really the birds and, 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 and other things follow those lines. That's now been proven with science, but, I mean, if you cut right through from Stonehenge in southern England and shot right through the earth, uh, I mean, it depends on what angle, but if you just went straight through, it would come out, come out, out in the ocean just south of uh, Alaska, looks like, or, or, yeah, let me see, come out over here, about 500, 600, 700 miles south of Alaska, it looks like. Uh, but but I guess I mean I guess you could underground have some line. I know they have ley lines too, and I guess those. I mean they say DC is on a ley line, but I think it's a different one. And I don't even know if those ley lines are real. It was just the ancients trying to map it. I mean again, I just know that I'm like, all right, let's get over here and get back to London. Yeah, it's pretty neat, you know. I'm like, and I'm just walking all of a sudden, blah, and it's like, whoa, do you feel that? Leanne Magadu felt it. Watson felt it. His wife Ehan uh, felt it, and. Uh, I mean, I, I, I felt like I was 18 and was about to get in a fight with somebody. I mean, I'm not even angry. I felt electrified and crazed. And so the ancients didn't know what it was. They thought, oh, my gosh, it's Oonga Boonga or whatever. But it's, I, I believe it's a magnetic vortex. But it wasn't just at Stonehenge because I felt something around. It's this. I mean, you would pass about a 10-foot wide line. And I walked through it and later said, did you guys feel anything? And they're like, yeah, back there. And we're like, yeah. So we'd go back over it, and it was like going over a... Uh, you know, on a roller coaster, when your stomach goes up and, and, and you feel, what's that called when you uh, you know go down a hill real fast and you feel your stomach come up into your chest? I mean, no, there's a reason the ancients built stone circles all over the world on certain sites. Uh, and it's because there's something magnetic coming out of the ground there. And, of course, we know at the North and South Pole, there's massive electromagnetic stuff coming out and, and 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 they have measured higher electromagnetics coming out of that magnetic rock there uh, but uh, anything else sir well um that was that uh on stonehenge i just wondered if they told you anything about it they knew something they they selected washington dc specifically to be on this line it just didn't happen i had ancestors that had property there that uh, eventually were taken into the uh, Washington, D.C. area. Second thing is the, the royal family of England. Sec second subject. Do I have time for this? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. I listened to you with glee that you and Tex um, were not uh, upset talking to each other because this book he referred to, I don't know whether you've read it, Kessler's book on the 13th tribe. Are you familiar with the subject matter? Yes, um, yes. Okay. Um, what uh, evidently the, the author of that's named Kessler, he did not know this. I don't know that Tex knows this. And I've seen it on just one place. But there was a part of the Ashkenazi Jews. His name was King Joseph. He went to Ireland. He did not disappear from history like is generally thought. No, no, they got the Stone of Destiny from Ireland, then it went to England, and then why is it in uh, Scotland now? Uh, well, I'm not talking about that. Okay, go ahead. There is a reason, but I did want to sidetrack from that. There was a lot of intermarriage from the Khazar um, Ashkenazi Jews into the royal family of England. That's the point I want to well, make. Well, the royal family says that they do trace some of their lineage back to uh, back to King David. I mean, they, they say that. It's it's British Israelism, I think you call it, or uh, 
in fact, it predates even Israel being set up, and it's been going on for thousands of years. And that's kind of what the whole Merovingian bloodline is. They claim they go back to Jesus, and that's the Illuminati's big secret, uh, is that the royal family is reportedly related to Jesus. And, of course, the Bible says Jesus didn't have any children, but they say that's the big secret. That's the holy grail that they hide is that uh, the royal bloodline of Christ, and whether that's true or not, uh, the, the Transylvanian bloodline that became one of the dominant German bloodlines is directly linked into the House of Windsor. That's not really even the, it's like Mombatton, Coburg, Gotha, there's like 15 names. And the truth is, it's just a whole bunch of old royal families of Europe. I mean, they are Gaelic, they're Germanic, they're undoubtedly there's some Middle Eastern in there. Uh, but the reason the Romanians, was, you know, Transylvanians got so rich was they kept getting paid to hold back the Muslims. And so that's why those folks then moved back into Germania and intermarried with the other royalty there. But, I mean, it's a Heinz 57. That's like the, uh, the, um, the Rothschilds are, are intermarried into the royal bloodlines. Uh, so when I say a German royal family or German death cult, it's really an Illuminati death cult, and that stuff goes back you know, to Egypt. Uh, it's, a, it's a Babylon mystery school, and people take that out of context. But, it's, uh, but uh, very interesting, sir. I appreciate your call. By the way, let me just plug something here. A, because it's what funds us, but more importantly, B, I only promote the best products. I hope everyone will. There's a bunch of stuff we want to do and a bunch of contests we want to do, and we want to finish the studio and the satellite uplinks, and I want to thank everybody for their support. So we promote ProPure, 10% off promo code WATER. Stop drinking the poison tap water. ProPure is the best. 10% off promo code WATER. InfoWarsStore.com. InfoWarsStore.com. Uh, you can get all the books, the videos, the new film State of Mind has been shipping on the history of mind control. And you can go to InfoWarsHealth.com and get... Uh, discounts on shipping, you name it, on Beyond Tangy Tangerine 2.0, on the longevity, uh, Beyond Osseo FX that's now out in powder, the CM Plus, hundreds and hundreds of products, the lowest prices. Pollen Burst Plus is absolutely amazing, and that's why I'm on the box. I love it so much, the healthy energy drink. Uh, just try it out. Uh, Pollen Burst and Pollen Burst Plus, InfoWarsHealth.com. And let's put it back on screen because I'm going to give folks the toll-free number. Uh, as well to call and, and if you need any help signing up on the shopping cart or need any help to sign up as a distributor for 10 bucks to get big discounts uh, give it a call 888-789-9277 888-789-9277 and you can find out more at infowarshealth.com but don't wait because i had the july challenge uh, for people to you know start trying out these products and and then to email us with your uh, your testimonials and everybody's just Nothing but positive feedback. And that's why I got into this was the testimonials friends and family told me. So again, InfoWarsHealth.com or that number. Uh, one more time in case folks have uh, forgot. Uh, the number, it is 888. Uh, again, 888-789-9277. 888-789-9277. And I apologize to Otter, Ryan, Cameron, and Kyle. If you can get in tomorrow, I'll put you to the head of the line. I'm exhausted today. And I've done three and a half hours. I got to stop now. I get dingy. I start talking fast, and I just shouldn't be on radio. I need to go rest for about 30 minutes. And I got a bunch of work to do uh, here with the Obama deception, too. The nightly news tonight, 7 o'clock Central. Uh, but we love you all. Thanks for your prayers, and thanks for all your support. We're doing great things together, and we are starting to turn the tide against tyrants. Our ancestors did it. We can do it with God's help. Now you can watch the InfoWars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at InfoWars.com forward slash show.